come back. Uh, I hope you had a great understanding about the SWOT analysis. Now let's see how the SWOT analysis actually looks like when you put it on paper and start to draft a SWOT analysis. So let me just show you a slide. So this is an example of what a SWOT analysis looks. So again, for the sake of recap, we'll uh, just have a quick recap as to what SWOT analysis helps you out with. Uh, so SWOT analysis comes before any kind of decision that you want to make. So you, uh, let's say for an example, are about to launch a product. Maybe for example, you are working with Apple and Apple is about to launch another product. Now you have to work out what the SWOT is all about. So what are its strength? What are its weakness? What are the opportunities? Maybe the opportunity uh, related to the market, the uh, opportunity with the customers and the threats to the same thing. So once you start to draft these, you get a very uh, holistic view or a holistic understanding about the product or the pro service that you're working with or for what you are doing the SWOT analysis with to make a better decision or to take that much required call which you would not take if you were not very well informed about the same thing. So let's take for an example the case study of Apple. So Apple has its strength uh, that it is uh, globally iconic. So as a brand, it is globally iconic. It goes to the top tier technology level. Uh, it has a brand for choice and it has a lot of proficient research work that gets inside before they take out any kind of a, a product out in the market. Then if we talk about the weaknesses that it has, it has lack of marketing and promotions. Uh, you don't ha uh, see, well nowadays there is a bit of uh, marketing that they're doing online as well as offline, but there is comparatively lesser marketing for the same product. There are lack of competitions. So at that segment for Apple, there is a lack of competition because of the premium segment where they are playing in right now. So that becomes a weakness because if you don't have actually good competition, you won't be striving to put out your best foot forward. But even then, the weakness is that there is lack of competition. Then the high priced product the products uh, are really really highly priced and it creates a barrier for any new customer or a consumer to enter so that becomes a weakness for Apple as a brand then talking about the opportunities so uh, consistent consumer growth even after those weaknesses or the shortcomings this company has always seen an opportunity as with the growth of the customers who are every year increasing like anything also there are qualified professionals inside the organization that is one opportunity where uh, apple looks forward to it so uh, also with the opportunities you can talk about is uh, where all they fit in is they can use some green technology to make their processes much more uh, eco-friendly uh, they are creating a host of devices creating an ecosystem in itself that in itself is an opportunity for them they have smart wearable technology that market in itself is a big opportunity for apple in a nutshell so now if we talk about the threats in the same segment uh, there are a lot of threats that apple as a company is facing maybe to fight the counterfeits the first copy or the second copy of this product that could be one thing that is apple wishing to fight for uh, there is increasing in number of competition because now the brands which were earlier cheaper they are making very very expensive phones and making it difficult for apple to make a new sale so that is where a lot of threat is coming into picture so once apple has drafted all this swot analysis well for the sake of example we have kept it very simple from the consumer standpoint but this uh, list could go on and on and it could be too extensive and it could could be either created on a process or a service as well on this part we did it for a company or, or a product maybe but you can actually do it for any kind of services or any kind of processes and create a better understanding or at least an informed understanding about what all things are happening inside so once you have these kind of understanding it is very easy for you to know where to focus or know where the energy of the entire workforce has to go so let's say for an example in your organization itself you're working on a product and you are stuck as to what you need to do to make it better what you need to do to make it more appealing to the new customers so what you have to do for the first time is you have to create a SWOT analysis once you have a SWOT analysis you know what are the products or the services uh, strengths 
uh, the opportunity market where you can actually f uh, put that pedal up and go and rush into it. What are the threats and weaknesses that you need to know about so that you can cater better to the customer and give that much required best of the best experience. So that is what SWOT analysis is all about. I hope you had a great understanding and uh, so post our uh, previous video on a clear cut explanation of SWOT analysis. I think this video has uh, brought out a much clearer understanding of how SWOT analysis is actually done and how you can also create your own SWOT analysis for any kind of product, service or processes for that matter. Well also I would like to add that alongside these video modules there are a lot of resource materials added below this video section so don't forget to download them and use them for your own growth and benefit. You can use the templates that are provided there and start off by directly writing them down. So for this module in itself I've created an infograph just similar to this. All these slates are blank so you can have a printed card for that matter or maybe use it on a word document or an excel sheet wherein you can actually draft your own SWOT analysis for the products that you're working on. So I hope you had a great learning. I had a great time explaining you about these topics. And so until we meet next time in any other module, it is me Ayush Banerjee signing off for this one. Bye-bye now.